Come say hi to the viewers. Come say hi. <laughs> She's so excited. She can smell the food. We've been, uh, we've been getting prepared for this kind of all day. What do you think? Are you excited to try couch on for the first time? She doesn't know what to do without the boys here, honestly. No. Nope. She has been hanging out with us. Uh, we were going to do kind of like a chick update, and so we thought we would pick one of the dogs and bring them in to meet the chick so that you guys could see kind of how the first interaction Kira. goes. Come Kira. on. Come here. Hmm. Hi, Mama. She's so sweet. She is the sweetest. She's so sweet. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, we just thought uh, we would pick Kita because she is the calmest. She, you know, she's had puppies before. She's She's been a mom, so she knows how important and delicate to the care for those little chicks is. So we're going to let her in there and see kind of what... Uh... Mom, so... Oh, sorry. You're good. Make sure you talk louder because it's always me that's, like, yelling and you're, like, quiet. Okay. <laughs> So we did go ahead and buy them four pounds of beef tongue. We did go ahead and boil that up. Now, the reason why we boiled it up is because we left it out just a little bit longer. And we've never done this before. So if you have any tips or tricks on how to do cow tongue, let us know down in the comments because we'd love to uh, learn and grow. We are going to try some raw, but we thought where we're giving them the whole cow tongue on top of their normal food that we would cook it. No, rather safe than sorry. It looks so weird. And there's not too much info on um, on feeding dogs cow tongues. There's only like a couple videos online and they don't even really explain that well stuff. So we're going to test it out and then we're going to let you guys know how it goes and, you know, tr probably do it again here in the future. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. Give me, give me some love. Give me some love. You want to go see the chickens? You want to go see the chickies? Why don't you wait until wait, we, get, we get more? Because everybody's going to be asking about the chickens. I already know it. Wait until we get more viewers? Yes. So should I go ahead and set these up? Yeah, I would. Oh, okay, so these eggs, somebody, uh, Sam's friend actually decided to give us these eggs. And she dropped off like this huge box and said, I hope your dogs enjoy these because <laughs> she knows that our dogs do take a lot of eggs. And I think she knew that we just got chicks and we were waiting for eggs, so she went ahead and donated a bunch to the channel. So huge shout out to her. Grayson said what that tongue do. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <clears throat> I bet it could do a lot, bro. That's just, I don't know. Have you guys ever tried cow tongue? My little sister has I, cow tongue tacos, I guess. Cow tongue tacos, we're gonna have to try I think that's something. the most common. We're gonna have to try it. In soup, Ugh. It's so bright where we are. It is seven o'clock, yes. Time change is seven nice. Okay, um, let's see. So we're gonna go ahead and throw in one of our supplements here for their hip and joint. And go ahead and crack the eggs on here. What does it taste like? What does cow tongue taste like when you eat it? It smells like beef. Yeah, it does smell like beef, but it I think it's because like I know beef. what it is that it's making me a little bit nauseous. It's a bit chewy. That's what we thought. We thought it was going to be tough, but it cut right up. Yeah, it, it cut. It was super, super tender, and, and the knife just slid right through it. I'm going to go ahead and add in a pump of our salmon oil here. You know what? It's a special day. Look how cute she too. is. She's so sweet. Hey girl, you being so good waiting out of the kitchen? I'm gonna go ahead and throw one of these supplements in here. After the live is over, Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in all the uh, links for the products that we do use if you guys are interested. Poor cow. I know, I'm the same way. I don't eat much meat. It creeps me out. The dog sure likes it. <laughs> Somebody said it smells like beef because it is a cow. I mean, yeah, but. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it doesn't smell any different than like ground beef, you know? I don't know. I feel like it smells different. I'm going to go ahead and throw in one drop of good CBD night. oil. Somebody said good night. Good night. <laughs> it's 9 p.m. in NYC. Okay. Oh, look. Check out that new Roddy Channel merch. New lanyard. They're Got the cute. white lettering and then the brown paws. There's Junior's paw. And then, of course, got the shirts. Got the hats. She's so excited. So after we put the eggs in, do you want me to feed you one of these? Do you want me to feed you one real quick? Will you eat it soft out of my hand? We eat it real soft, small piece. Ugh. You can like see the little. Like look at the little. They like look the like feelers, hairs. Little feelers. Can you see it? Can you wait? She's so excited. Can you wait? Okay, but you gotta take it real soft, okay? Here, I'm even gonna put my fingers all the way to the end. You gotta take it real soft, okay? Nope, softer. I need it softer. 
but okay, I'll give you a little more. Okay, soft. Oh, such a good girl. Such a good girl, huh? Kita's the pickiest out of them all. I don't know. She's like, what is this? <laughs> well, tastes like think? brisket. Somebody give him a said. It would. Okay, would you give them one star, two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars, or would you recommend to a friend? <laughs> you want more? You want another one? You want another one? <clears throat> I know. How can you touch it? You're Mama Kita, how old is she? She is four years old. Just yeah, she just turned party. four. What did, we make? what did we make for her birthday? Oh, I, I know we did a cake, we did a smoothie, and what we was that? Charcuterie birthday. board. We did charcuterie boards on Kenai's birthday? Two in the morning in the UK. I'm not sure. If you are joining us at two in the morning to watch this live stream, thumbs up to you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, we appreciate the support. So we're gonna go ahead and throw in their chicken and their bones and their vegetables and their organs now. So what we have here is a chicken leg, chicken drum. We got some beef liver. We have chicken thigh right there and then a couple pieces of broccoli and a carrot or two, depending on which bag you get. Tastes like cow meat. Somebody said that? Yeah, it's expensive too. How much did you pay for that tone? It is tongue? expensive. I think it was like four or five dollars a pound and I think it was like four pounds. Really? Yeah, it, it, it almost cost as much as that a steak. nice steak. <laughs> it, it almost cost as much as that steak that we got for them the other day. If you guys haven't seen that video, we gave the dogs a four pound steak and let them tear that up. So, I, I don't really know what it is. I mean, I, I enjoy the dogs eating, but the viewers really enjoy the dogs eating. We get requested for more feeding videos and eating videos every single day. Um, so, can you explain what I thought it was CBD? CBD? Somebody said CB, but I think they meant CBD. CBD. Explain why we use it. Or, or what, what it does. It yeah. So CBD is great for anti-inflammatory. So any hip joint, um, any, any bone issues, um, it's great for their, their overall stress and anxiety. So anytime that the dogs have separation anxiety, the CBD will help help mellow that out. Anytime they have an upset stomach, the CBD will help mellow that out. Anytime they have swelling or, you know, like where we get a sprained ankle and we'll put ice on it, CBD is great for humans as well as dogs. So you can actually get, um, you can get just a bottle of tincture and then, you know, this one's a 500 milligram bottle. So 500 milligrams per volume. And then you just take and you follow the instructions for the weight of the dogs. We do a dropper a day, which kind of equates out to, I think a little bit under an ounce and the dogs love it. Uh, Kenai suffers really bad being a rescue dog with, uh, with separation anxiety, and so it really helps him out as well as uh, uh, his torn cruciate ligament. It really helped him uh, develop the better scar tissue so that he didn't have to deal with a limp forever. And sometimes he'll still limp if it really hurts him, but then we'll just throw in some more CBD oil and we're good to go. Yeah, a lot of humans use CBD too. It, humans use CBD? Yeah, it's just... It's from the marijuana plant. Yeah, we have minus the THC. Mm -hmm. We have uh, um, we have that that rub and that tincture that yeah. really helps. Um, it's like a it's like a lotion that has CBD oil in it, and if you put it on like you have a sore spot in your back and you rub it in and you massage it in and you let it sit and it kind of it it's really like a like a rub on uh, ibuprofen. Yeah, it's nice like, for like directed at certain areas. all natural. So yeah, it is really cool. Um, and it's not expensive either. I mean, you know, especially for the benefits that it has and so many benefits, so many benefits. So hi, anyway. Emily's. I think that's how you say your name. I'm Our sure. oldest dog is Kenai and he is six. I think she likes it. Did you like it? Somebody said 10 stars. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Did Colin find a place that sells dog treats? What does that mean? Say that again. Did you find a place that sells dog treats? What, um, what were you looking for? I didn't even ask you. For that oh for that okay video. yeah surprise so it's got to be a surprise if you know anybody in the area northern utah that sells um dog treats or can get me a large quantity of dog treats that i'm not going to say anything else but i need a large quantity of dog treats made um or even help being made or somewhere where i can film them being made i can make them we have to probably end up making them <laughs> the only problem is we're really busy over the next month over yeah the next month 
month we're really really busy um, we have some vacations planned we're going to be on vacation for two weeks um, two different places so we're super excited about that but we're going to be super busy so if there's a company that would like to do it that we can work with i'm not going to say anything else if you know anybody that makes dog treats in northern utah let me know okay so yes that cbd is um just for dogs they have human and dog cbd yep this one's cbd for dogs yep we get and that locally from here yep and so you can even um you can actually the cbd oil for humans is okay to be eaten by dogs the cbd oil for dogs is usually flavored so you get like a peanut butter or a beef flavor or you know chicken flavor whatever whatever you find whatever brand you decide to go with but um, should we hurry and show the chicks real fast? Yeah, can music help calm dogs, of course. Music, yeah, we, we listen, um, or we leave music playing for the dogs when we head off to work, um, and they're left in the house. Uh, music, or even like, uh, we'll put on our YouTube channel, we'll put on the Roddy channel, so that they can kind of feel like we're home, they kind of hear the familiar Hi. voices, and they don't, uh, they don't get any of that anxiety or anything like that. You want to go meet some baby chicks? You want to eat some baby chicks? Kate, okay, you can't eat them. You can't eat them like you just did with that, okay? But if you be real soft, we'll go meet them. Somebody, Ryan said he went to Moab over spring break. That Moab. place is so cool. Huh? I went to spring, or I went to Moab last year, Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, it was like a year Valentine's ago. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. Are you, you going camping? We're not going to Moab, but we'll, we'll be, be in the chicks. desert. Um. We, we usually go up to Idaho, but there's still quite a bit of snow up there. We're, I'm trying to go somewhere warm, you know? Yeah. It's supposed to be, I think it's supposed to get up to 70 degrees. Yeah, 70 was degrees. it? Yep, 70 was the high, <clears throat> which is pretty warm. Yeah. Okay, let's go meet the chicks. Come in. Just go meet some chicks. The chicks are actually getting really big fast. Hey, come here. I need you to come over here. Come over here. I need you to wait, okay? I need you to stay there. Stay there. Kita's the most, like, you antsy. Stay. You stay. She's the best out of them all, but she is the most antsy. Come on. Come on. Come here. They've already grown so Come much. Here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. If you guys were wondering how... You can put the light on. Yeah. Let it be brighter. That's all right. Um, so we are in the middle of redoing this room and, and making some changes. So there is... We are using it kind of as a storage room while we finish up the other room, but... Uh, Kita, I, you're you're not very. Uh, yeah, she don't really care. You're not very interested in them at all, are you? Hi, hey, Mama. I, I know her tail is. always wags. She's the cutest. Wow, look at you. You're being so good. Well, Fluffy's getting jealous. You're being so good. Hello. Hold on. Oh man, he went between. I think, are we back? Are we good? I don't know what happened. <laughs> it paused, it paused right at the time. That I she know. Was, she just smelled the, the chick. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Okay, this one, you got a trap in here, so can get, him, get him out of there. Come here. Who do you think would be the most gentle? I think Kita. Kita, Kita she's. And she, she's the mom. What do you think? Not dinner, huh? Not dinner, <laughs> but it looks like a little squeaky toy. Good girl. I don't know how much of that you guys missed. <clears throat> Good girl. All right. I think that's a that's a job well done right there, huh? That's a proper socialized Rottweiler, aren't we you, We have Kita? 12 of them. 12 chickens. We have six in each bin. And the only reason why we, we have two bins is because we did get six and six. We didn't want to throw all 12 in one bin, so... Thought we'd give them a little bit more room and a, a little better better chance to. Yeah, they're growing know, fast. Have some space. They're so cute. This one's my little silky. It's tiny. He's so that, cute. So soft. Have we named them yet? Um, no, but this one is definitely my baby. This one's so actually cool. really pretty too. Good girl, you're being good, Kita. All right, what do you say? You want to go eat dinner? I don't know if we can keep up with the names on them all. We'll name them eventually. 
as we get to know their personalities and all that. <laughs> so cute. You're taking the dogs to the little Sahara. Yes. Yes, of course. Three, six. Wait, are we one child over there? We need one more. I have no idea. I think we need one more over there. Oh, this one. This little guy goes over there, right? Or no, this one. Okay. All right, let's go get some dinner ready and go meet the boys. We're gonna go check the fire outside. That looks good out here. It looks good from here. Dying down though. All right. What are you, where are you going outside? Um, should we feed him outside? No. In, in here? Yeah. In the kitchen? Yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and let's get these separated out. I am going to give the two boys one hand fit piece and then I'll have them get out of the kitchen. Um, and I'll have them wait for a second. And the reason why we do that and we have them wait and sometimes we have them wait a little bit longer is because like if you make your dog wait only five seconds, as soon as five second hits, they know they need to grab it. So sometimes it's nice to uh, hold them back a little bit and remind them, hey, you don't get the food until I say, not just when you think you've waited long enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and portion this out for the dogs. Have we had a picnic with the dogs? We have not had a picnic with the dogs. I guess we could do that. Um... Yeah, go on a hike and then you know pull out their raw food and then eat at the top. Lexi Lou is doing well. Oh yeah, yeah. We went and saw her today. We went and saw her today. Uh, Did it you? Yeah, post something posted on a Instagram. Video on Instagram of Lexi, uh, just a little quick video showing how happy she is in her home, and she's she's doing great. She looks so she good. Really is. They just gave her a bath. Like was it today or yesterday? Yeah, no, she was still wet. Yeah, so they just given her a bath, and she was. That's so gross. <laughs> she was looking really good. Check out one more piece in each one, or actually. That's a lot of food. It is a lot of food. This one should come over here. And that one's good. Okay, these two pieces I'm gonna give the boys, so I'm gonna let them in real quick. They're gonna be hyping. I know. They are gonna be hyper because they've well, been playing. Fluffy's been a wild child lately. Fluffy's in a terrible twos. Oh, he's horrible. Fluffy is in a terrible twos. What'd you think, Mama? All right, I'm gonna go grab your brothers, I, I, or your son and your brother. I'll be right back, okay? She's so cute. Or you wanna come with, you wanna come with? How's the weather where you guys are? It's been nice here today. It's actually been really nice here today. Here they come. Chickens are the best to have. I, know you're I agree, excited, Sherry. Calm down. Calm down. Come here. I know. Come here. Come here. I know. No, not yet. Come here. Come she is here. already thriving. Let's sit. Hey, come here. Let's sit. Fluffy is... Crack. They're very warm Sit. here in Florida. I'm jealous. Sit. I want to go to what is it? Um, yeah, in Florida. My family's from Florida. Yeah. My family's from Florida. I want to go to um, not Dis Disneyland, Disney, Disney World. World. Yes. Hey, take it soft. It's warming up here in Minnesota. Yeah, take today it. was nicer, but I think it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Take it soft. Soft. I see you. I see you, crazy guy. Take it soft. Soft. Eighty-eight degrees today. Dang. Fluffy, sit. Give me a pop. Good boy. All right, sit. Stay. You gotta take it soft, all right? Scotland is take wet soft, and windy. Homes. Soft. It's been windy here today too. Soft. Be soft. There you go. Nope. Soft. Soft. Nope. Soft. Take it soft, bro. You know what soft is. Fluff. Soft. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. He pushed Fluffy's head right out. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Let Fluff have some. Let Fluff have some. Come here. Let Fluff have some. You can lick my fingers, bro. I think they like it. I think they like it, too. I mean, I don't know what there's not to like. I mean, it's a good quality cut of beef, right? Like, people eat that. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if we eat that. Plus, it's what, I don't know. I don't know. We eat in certain parts of an animal, but other parts of an animal's gross. So, right, but, is, and so I appreciate people that use the full thing. <clears throat> yes. Yes, and especially, too, how the dogs can, can thrive and benefit what from, are you doing? from the diet, too, from, from the butcher parts. Hey, come here. We're kitchen. in Utah. We're in northern Utah. Get out of the kitchen. Stay. 
No, out. Out, right there. I know you're excited, but chill. <laughs> it's almost like a power, like, like one that's not to be reckoned with. Stay, but like the power would be them not staying, like the force becoming. I don't know. They're so cute. Stay. Texas. They just had that huge storm. Stay. It was scary. Stay. He and I munches all night though. We have the food in a bin and oh, he'll just yeah. go and put his head up underneath oh. it and get up in it. He'll lift the lid up and just start eating out of the, I mean that thing's like a 60 pound container. He just lift the top off to start eating. That's look at ridiculous. Fluffy in the back, look at him. It's honestly ridiculous. Go get it. Oh yeah, straight for the beef. Straight for the cow tongue. Yeah, so that was four pound cow tongue. Put into, they're getting about two pounds of food tonight. They're eating good. So if you like this stream, don't forget to drop a like on it. Is Keita eating it? Well, Keita's bringing it over here. She's already ate everything she's on there. 42 she's degrees. After this chicken bone. Are we going to do anything for Easter? We're going camping. I don't know. We haven't really talked if we're doing anything for the dogs yet. Hide Easter eggs around the house and see if they can find them. That's cute. <laughs> That'd be cool. They do love eggs. And we have plenty of those, thanks to Kelly. They do love their eggs. No, y'all yeah, go to. Shout out to Kelly for all the eggs for the, the Roddy channel. We appreciate the donation. We also have, did somebody, are those toys in there on the TV? Yeah. Somebody, one of the subscribers. Kenai. Kenai. He does this forever after. There's nothing left. So yeah, one of the, uh, one of, one of you guys, the amazing subscribers, ended up actually buying this. They sent, uh, they bought some merch and they sent a donation to me as well and said, use this on the dogs however you'd like. So we went ahead and we spent that $10 and we got some toys and look, Fluffy's going nuts. I love this cactus one and the llama. So yeah, and then on the little Fiesta friends. Look at him watch. Squeak it again and you'll get that head tilt. Yep. <laughs> So then on the back, we've got Prickly Pete, Sugar Skull Sophia, and Llama Linda. Llama Linda. <laughs> Chew resistant, interior, interior maternal, so uh, I, I think guess they're, we'll like, see. they're like a heavy duty, double stitched, um, and then they've got a squeaker inside. But uh, yeah, the, this is one of the biggest reasons why we ended up buying them, because they actually even had a Rottweiler chewing on Linda Llama herself. So when I saw these, I said, that is how we're using that subscriber donation. He's so excited. What, do you want one of these? Should I give it to him now? Now I have to buy more to go camping. I mean, you want it now? I don't you know. Of these? They hey, whoever got those donuts for him, he carries them around oh, all yeah. day. Another another donation. Uh, somebody bought those donuts. I have one in the backyard. We'll show you. We need to run out there before it gets dark and show you guys kind of what we're doing for the dogs. Um, we did just hire, or not hire, we did just call somebody up for a quote to get a privacy fence installed. Um, big, tall, six foot privacy fence for the yard. Where these guys are getting a little bit bigger, um, we kind of just want to keep ourselves and the dogs safe. So we're, we're deciding to install a privacy fence on the whole front of our house and down the sides. So we do have a quote for that coming. Um, I think. Oh, and we did get, we put up a 
electric fence. Oh yeah, we did put up an electric fence. It is kind of just a temporary thing um, until we can see what we're doing with the privacy fence or we'll have to put some concrete under the gates. This little devil here keeps escaping and taking him with him. And so we get a call while I'm at work and Sam's at work saying that the dogs are out. And where did we find them this time? In the canal? Yeah, they were playing in the canal. Playing in the canal. You can leave the gate open and mama, she will stay. Oh yeah. She you will stay. The front door to the house open. And Keena is usually good if Fluffy's not yeah, around, stay. but Fluffy, Keena just follows stay. everywhere. Give me a paw. Give me a paw. Otherwise, like they no, totally no, broke no, the no, whole no. metal gate. They went right up underneath it. Chill, man. But yeah, they were playing in the canal. That's where I found them. Chill. Soaking wet. Okay, get it. Huge shout out to um, to my parents for coming out to, to uh, being willing to help. Even Sam's sister was willing to come help look for him. Um, just a lot of support. The neighbors were out looking for him. Um, if you guys are real OGs to the channel, you remember Gus. Gus was out looking for him. <laughs> you want know, Linda Llama? That's a, that's a nice durable squeaker. That's a nice. Do we have squeaker. security cameras, of course? Yes, yes, we do have security <laughs> cameras. That's a thick squeaker. Which one? Do you want Linda Llama or do you want Linda Llama? I think Linda Lama should go to Mama. To Mama? Yeah. Ah, there you go. Kenai. Fluffy will carry that thing around oh, yeah. forever. Kenai and Mama, not so much. It's only if Fluffy has it, then they want it. <laughs> okay, you get prickly Pete. Sit. Paw. Other one. Good boy. Down. Stay. No, down. Stay. Okay, up, paw, other one. Wait. Good boy, good boy. So anyway, yeah, again, huge thank you. I cannot remember the name uh, specifically of who donated who donated this, but uh, I mean, it's, re it's just really so cool to see people from all over the country, even all over the world, sending in donations so that these guys can have a little party so that we can throw you guys a live video. Yeah, the security cameras <laughs> definitely can be the Roddies. They're another form of security, yes. I'll hurry and pick these up, and then what do you say we go out in the backyard to play a little bit of fetch? What do you think, Mama? Real quick, before it gets dark. What do you think? We got Kenai. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring your toys. Come on. These two, they don't really care about toys. No. Yeah, Fluffy's the only one that really cares about toys. Unless... These two care when Fluffy has one. Yeah. Fluffy, you can't take both of them. Come on, let's go outside. Do you need a jacket? Yeah, I'm going to have you take this. You want this jacket? Or jacket? No, I got one over here. Let me hear you put this on real quick. What do you think, Fluff? <laughs> Take that and I'll run outside with them and throw a piece of wood on the fire. Tabitha said she told mom after my puppy and my dog I have. Um, I want to get a Roddy. She said you better have it well trained. Yeah, you got to. That's that's the biggest thing with these guys. You left Linda Llama. Don't leave. Don't leave. Oh, no. Now Fluffy's got it. All right, let's go. All right, you want me to take that? Yeah. All right, let's go outside. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. You little wanker. Go outside. Go. 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 Nope. Go. Go away. Come on. Oh, man, you guys knocked down your doggy door. Go outside. Go outside. And, of course, he goes through the doggy door. All right. Uh, one-handed, trying to carry a drink and toys is not good. All righty. So we're going to get this drink set down. Okay, I got your toys right here, Holmes. And the fire's out. Okay, here. Ready? Don't knock my chair over. And fluffy boy. Okay, go get it. Yeah, see, Kenai doesn't really care about toys. So coming out of spring, uh, yeah, the yard did get pretty tore up this year. 
Um, you can see where the dogs all like run in their little paths along the edge of the fence. So we are redoing this currently. Um, we are gonna, I've been raking out here and, and, and if you guys have seen the previous videos, you'll know that we had uh, some demolition and yard work that we've been doing on the ranch here. The little Roddy Ranch, as I like to call it. So got this, let's see, I've got my bull gate down, so we'll hurry and get a quick update back here. So out in the backyard, we are down to just this trash and the old dog bed that you guys decided to tear up one day because they locked themselves in the room and got bored and couldn't exercise or come out running or anything. And I think they got some separation anxiety and they ripped it up. So yeah. So we got the dump trailer out here. This is the last pile of, of uh, junk that we're going through. That's our old burn pile. And yeah, I'm going camping next week. Excited to get the camper back out. Um, our quality does not seem to be as good today. Uh, we do, for the live, we just use my phone. And then uh, um, for the actual videos, what you got there? You got Linda Llama? You got Linda Llama? Let me see. Nope. Come here. Come back. He's like, nah, nah, dad. Nah, you're going to take it away again. Come here. Come here. Here comes Kita. Rawr. But uh, yeah, for the live we do use uh, we do use my iPhone, but we do use a DSLR and a nice uh, nice camera and microphone for our normal YouTube videos. You find a toy? You find a toy? You guys got some trash out here? Go throw this in the. How many toys can Fluffy put in his mouth? Um. The thing is, is the, I don't even know if he knows, but he tries and put them all in his mouth. He'll try and carry like a bone. He'll try and carry like everything. That Utah sunset. Chicken coop over here. If you guys haven't seen, or if you're new here, I'll hurry and show you a quick little tour of the chicken coop we're redoing. So I'm just gonna frame in this door here in the bottom so that uh, no animals can get in. And then, course this is our little chicken coop i did actually just cut this off of a tree and i screwed it in to here so that they could have like a little tree branch that they could sit on and then yeah that's just a ratchet strap holding their big thing of food no don't drink that don't drink that you nasty and then i keep their food in here i keep their unopened food out here anyway yep there's a little tour of the chicken coop back there we've got our boat couple trailers lawnmower what are you doing what are you doing he found linda llama can i just new shoe goofing new shoe goofing kita come here honey come here Come on. Come on, baby girl. There's my girl. The dogs do love boating, actually. Kenai's always afraid to, uh... what's up, man? You got your toy? Where's your donut? Where's your donut? Aha, there it is. Dun dun. Some you been gathering your toys over here, Fluffy? The heck man. You like you want your donut? Your 15,000 subscriber donut? Heck yeah, boy. Go get it. Look, he's still got that other toy in his mouth, and now he's gonna try and figure out. Oh, you like your new toy better. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Huh. 
Hold on, I gotta put a glove on. Oh, sorry. Had to put a glove on real fast so I could uh, move some of the wood. This is, like I said, all wood from our demolition. So I'm trying to uh, trying to just get rid of all the all the junk, junk wood. So that's what uh, that's what we have going on back here today. You know, I'm actually not sure what brand their toys are. I will, uh, I'll tell you what, I, after this video, um, I will go back and put the link down in the description. I'll find it somewhere online and I'll find the brand and the link. But yeah, they were a great deal. I got them at Sam's Club actually, and they were only $10. Sorry, I got distracted. Dun dun. I can't wait to have the house painted white. We're gonna repaint the whole house white. Yeah, so if they don't know, this house is totally good. Yep. Like, yep, everything so has been. Yep, that's why. So when we bought it, the whole landscape was messed up. Yep, it was it was overrun. The whole backyard, buildings so everywhere, just junk everywhere. Um, and so uh We've had to redo everything. Everything in the house was gutted, like Sam said, and redone. So we've been uh, we've been just fixing up the house and and redoing the landscape. We brought all these rocks in to kind of have like a little rock bed over here. Do they ever get mad with each other? Um, you know, they're dogs, so sometimes they have little spats, but uh, they're usually fine within a couple minutes. You cuties. Nice catch, Kenai. <laughs> Ooh. Here we go. Look, Kita will nip at Fluffy. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Kenai's going to hold it away from Fluffy. I just barely had it. I threw it over here for him, and he wasn't even interested. Come here. Do you want your donut? You want your donut? So here in a couple months, this yard is gonna look spectacular. We just had a ton of a ton of, uh, of dead grass from the dogs being on it. All up against the house is all dead because that's where they run. Um, all over here is dead because they uh, they run all over it. But uh, anyway, um, I've lived here for what three and a half years, and I have worked on it pretty much every day, nonstop. Nice little fire going. Almost like summer? Kind of like summer. Kind of like summer. Hi. Hey. Well, it's starting to feel like summer with What's the fire. What's up? What's up? Yeah, yesterday we had the speakers playing music out here and we had some friends over. Oh! <laughs> I forgot. Everyone, join along with me real quick. Go. But okay. next weekend Go. is Sam's birthday and we are not going to have service. So everyone right now we're not gonna have service to do like a live video where i can tell everybody but happy birthday sam i am super excited we are going to be um, going camping and celebrating sam's birthday and i'm not going to tell you anything that's in the works but it's going to be a good birthday and i wish that we could yeah oh my gosh okay so clear because i'm we're going on vacation then after that i'm going to hawaii so i'll be gone to like the 18th and i had a nail appointment right in a pedicure right before i left for vacation and he's like you need to clear your tuesday so i said okay so i text my nail lady that i already had an appointment with that tuesday i'm like hey like can we do wednesday she's like i don't work and she's like that you for you i will and i'm like okay but then she, I was, she's like for you and colin right and i was like what <laughs> yeah so what had actually happened is i uh, found out that Sam had a nail appointment. I called her nail lady. Well, I found out who her nail lady was. Um, I'm not going to disclose through who, <laughs> but I found out who her nail lady was. I was going to call and pay for the nail appointment. And then she said, okay, you know, like it's going to be this. And I said, you know what? She's going to be leaving for Hawaii with, uh, with her sisters and your mom and her sister and mom. And so she 
was gonna do her nails a couple days before she left and I said, you know what, I wanna spend the whole day with her. So I took work off, I went and paid for the appointment, set myself an appointment and told her nail lady that it was gonna be a surprise and then her nail lady texts <laughs> She's her. She's pregnant, she has pregnancy brain, but look how cute these ones are, Colin did them. Oh yeah, the other night we were working on a video and Sam asked if I would do her nails, so. <laughs> I love we them. We ended up with smiley faces on them. But anyway, so yeah, her nail lady, like I don't think it was really on purpose and I don't think she really put two and two together, but yeah, she spoiled my one of of a few surprises so I'm we actually really surprised so yeah we Colin's actually not big into birthdays and christmas and i am i'm not i'm not he big don't into care birthdays about him he christmas. thinks every day is christmas but like me i love i love holidays i love that stuff so yep so anyway surprise number one ruined um there's plenty more to come though and anyway i just had to let you guys know that it's Sam's birthday, so don't forget to wish her a happy like birthday. Don't forget to like this video if you wish her a happy birthday as well, I guess. Um, she's gonna be turning 28, and what else? What? Nothing? I'm old. Old? Over the hill? Yeah, over the hill. I feel like it. Let's see. Now, Kenai's gonna rip this toy up. You, little devil, you're already ripping the toy up. He hates the toys. He literally just rips them up to get the squeaker out. Look at that. He already, look, he tore up Pickle Peter. You reading the comments over there? Sam? What? <laughs> Are what? you reading the comments? Look, he tore up Pickle Peter. Fluffy's gonna be pissed. He always is tearing them up, always. Fluffy, look, I'm gonna rat Kenai out. He tore up your toy, dude. Fluffy, you don't care? You need to work on your patience, man. Chill. He's been bad lately. Stay. Good boy. He has. He's been a little... Yeah, he's been bad lately. Devil child. Don't rip that one up, yeah, too. That's my favorite. Don't let him rip that one up. Kenai. Kenai. Don't rip that up, bro. Don't rip that up. Come here. Come here. He's like, no, crap. They see me. Come here. Don't rip it up. Rip up Linda Llama. If I, oh, whoa. How did this one get here? Nice catch, bro. Hi, Kita. Did you? It's not. We went until next Saturday. <gasps> Tell him. Tell him about it. About what? About how we saw her <laughs> and how she's doing super well. well. If you guys haven't seen the story of Lexi, be sure to check it out. I'm sure you have because it's 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 pretty much going viral right now. Um, she's rescue Rottweiler that is doing phenomenal, oh, yeah. absolutely yeah, phenomenal. In Utah, one of our subscribers oh yeah. Reached out to us. Um, he got a new Roddy puppy and it's not gonna work out for him, but he's had him a week. Yep, I think he's eight weeks old. Yeah, and so if you're in Utah. He's so cute. Yep, yep. If you're interested in uh, in him and, and rehoming, but... yep, we're very picky, but uh, we are looking for a home. Dang, already. Why'd you rip it out? He's Why'd you do that? He's upset now. That's why we don't have a lawn, because Fluffy rips it up. Hey, don't you dare... Dad, what? What? Can I just eat it? See if I get both of them. <laughs> nope, <laughs> he dropped, he dropped the pickle. pickle. Drop pickle, Peter. Good boy. He's a good fluffy boy. Did you show him your bench? No. Him's a good boy, huh? No, yeah, so over here I have uh Fluffy's not gonna come over by it because he did get zapped by it a couple times, but uh I did put in this little 
So this is where they dug out. So this is why I have somebody come in to uh, redo the fence, but I put in this electrical fence to keep him in the yard because he has decided that it's more fun to run around the neighborhood and look for me while I'm gone than to stay here. And we don't want Fluffy getting in trouble. Um, the neighbors have like seven little kids and he never bothers them, but uh, he likes to chase chickens and he likes to chase cats. So I don't want anything to happen where there's an instance where he actually gets or hurts a chicken or a cat because uh, that would be that would be devastating if something happens to my little boy. So yeah, we've got that kind of temporarily patched up. We're keeping them in the house for now. Um, they're only out in the yard with us, but uh, that's why we're getting a new fence. And we're gonna concrete along the bottom of it so that this guy and that guy can't get out anywhere. What other news do we have? Any news? Any news? I can't wait to have the backyard done. We need a hot tub too. So if there's any uh, bullfrog executives watching this and you want to put a hot tub right there to sponsor us, I'm totally kidding, kinda. <laughs> but if you want to sponsor us and give us a hot tub, that would be incredible. And I'll use it pretty much every day. And I'll put more videos out because I'll just sit in the hot tub and video edit. Do you want a donut? You just ate a whole cow tongue and you're still hungry for a donut. Oh, swiper no swiping. <laughs> Give me it. Give me it. Give me it before you tear it up. Notice how he doesn't even care about that one now that it's torn up. He just tears him up to be rude to Fluffy. Can you catch it if I throw it? Whoa, oh, Fluffy. <laughs> no. No. You're trying to backflip, bro. Take it easy. You're going to break your back, man. Goodness, you see this guy? I've never seen him do Gosh, that. he's ambitious. You jumped the gun a little too soon on that one, bud. Goodness. Oh, did you get that? Yeah, I got it. Gosh, dang, man. You're going to hurt your back. That's why I tried to throw it straight. You jumped a little too soon on that one. Goodness. Kenai's like, ha ha. At least it wasn't me. He's over there smiling in the background. Let me hold this for a sec while I play with him. I'm gonna give him some love real quick. And poor what thing. Happened? <laughs> what happened, bud? Come here. He went straight up backwards. Come on, Mama. Hey. Hey. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Mama gets rough. When she gets going, she gets pretty rough. She'll bite Fluffy and hold on to him. Good night. Thank you. Hey, Mama, Kita. See, so she just gets excited. She's gonna get you, bro. She's gonna get you. Someone's gotta keep Fluffy in line. Get a little exercise after a nice meal. Here, dude. You broke the. You broke it. He doesn't even care about it now. Nope. Here's another toy. Got toys for days. Thanks to the subscribers, huh? Well. I think we should go eat. You want to go eat? Yeah, I'm hungry. What are we eating? We're, eating We're gonna grill hamburgers. Grilling creamy Dijon smothered <laughs> hamburgers. I thought we were doing blue cheese. We don't have blue cheese. Oh, all right. We're out of blue cheese. So gotcha. We it didn't we get We're gonna grill tonight. We're gonna do our own little party. Yeah. Our own little family time. And I've got the lights on for the grill. Monday home evening. Sunday yep. home evening. Yep. Um. So just to be completely uh transparent with you guys i haven't posted as much lately because i have decided to spend more family time and uh it's working out actually a lot better and i'm hoping that with that i won't try and rush videos i'll try and post um more family oriented videos more detailed more thought out videos 
um, and more vlog style stuff, but uh, my family time is, is definitely important to me too. So I hope you guys can. Tina, we got three kids. <laughs> we do have three kids and 12 more. And never mind. <laughs> more on that later. But anyway, yeah. So that's what we decided to do. Thank you guys. Yeah, for I appreciate this. you. Me? Yes. You do? Yes. I appreciate you as well. I, I really do. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that you do that nobody sees um so yeah i'm very i'm very grateful for you as well but uh thank you guys for joining on the roddy channel for another live stream if you haven't yet go ahead and check out our merchandise line we've got hats we've got shirts we've got sweaters we've got leggings we've got phone cases we've got uh we got just, daddy's money we got daddy's money line that one's actually really cool the daddy's money line is pretty cool if you guys haven't seen my truck um every time i post it because for some reason young people can't work hard and have nice things um everybody says that my daddy paid for it for me you guys have met my parents you know where my work ethic comes from um the only thing my parents give me is love support um, even my mom wears a daddy's money. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. We wore it the other day. I don't know what day that was, but we got stopped a whole bunch because <laughs> you were wearing that sweatshirt. Oh, yeah, yeah People yeah. thought it was funny. Yeah, so it has, a, it has a YouTube logo on the back, and then it has my name on it, and then it says daddy's money on the front. So the idea is when I wear it, I get out of my truck, and it already says daddy's money, so I, I just took... <laughs> Making jokes on saying. you. <laughs> I kind of took what they were saying, and I turned it into something that I could laugh about. And there's no point in getting my feelings hurt over what people say on the internet. I know how hard I work. Um, Sam knows how hard I work. I know how hard Sam works. And for the stuff that we have, I mean, life's not lucky. Like you don't just you don't just do well because your parents did well. You don't. I mean, it takes a lot of hard work. So anyway, we took what they said. We took the number one comment on my Instagram and my YouTube, and we put it on a sweater, and we think it's hilarious. Oh and, wait, but, sorry. Keep going. No. Nope. No. I, I sorry. Keep going. Um, I was just gonna say, yeah. Every time I wear it, people will stop me. Um, they'll come up and ask me if it's my channel, and they'll show me like, hey, I just looked at it. I, I love your truck. So anyway, we do have that uh, that clothing line that's out as well. Yeah. As well as new stuff coming soon. What did you have to say? Um, we might start hydroponics. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. I was telling him today I want to do that because I love gardening and where you can only do it for the summer here. I'd rather grow all year so we might start like growing our own food i mean i've always been into gardening and i love stuff like that but growing food for these guys too veggies yep. so um if you have any pointers on, on that <laughs> stuff let us know <laughs> yeah. so we uh actually were driving around today and that's something that we were talking about um and we were talking about what to do in the landscaping back here and we had originally talked about some raised flower beds and then uh we were talking about how it's seasonal and how we'd have to keep it away from the dogs because Fluffy would definitely get into the garden. And the chickens. Um, and the chickens. So we've got to keep everything kind of separated and keep everything gated off. And, you know, we're, we're just, we're living the ranch life. But Sam was talking about how, um, how she loves gardening and growing plants really just like I've watched Sam grow plants and she's so excited about them. And, and really it's just a good feeling. You know, it's kind of like raising a dog and, you know, get them as a puppy. You raise them all the way up. They're super trained. You're super proud of them. Same thing with plants. You grow them, you take care of them, you nourish them, and they pay you back. So we talked about it today, um, some stuff that we can do here around the house um, to, to give Sam some more stuff to do and, and really just enjoy being on the Roddy Ranch a little more. And we decided to look into that. So we're going to be watching some videos on that, looking at the styles we want. We don't know if we want a hanger one. We don't know if we want a table style, maybe two table styles. We, we really just don't know. Yeah, we'll so if you have any pointers around. on that, let us know. <laughs> We got plenty of room and and really not a lot of extra time but if we could grow our own vegetables i think that would be rad because we do eat a lot of vegetables um what are what is it what is it that you call yourself all the time you you eat vegetables all the time you i mean i'm not vegan like no, i'm i know but you live on pretty much vegetables oh you yeah love vegetables. yeah no i don't love eat much meat food. at all so anyway yeah that's something that we're going to be doing so that'll be coming to the channel we just Summer is going to be so cool. We need to coin the term Roddy Ranch because this is turning into the Roddy Ranch. <laughs> the Roddy and we're getting a goat soon. Yep, goat coming soon. If anybody can talk him into a Highland cow, please do. A Highland cow? Was that the fuzzy? Yes. Oh, my God. So we're going to have fuzzy chickens, fuzzy dogs, fuzzy cows. We need a fuzzy goat, too. Yes. Do, do they have fuzzy goats? I, if not, we're going to have to breed one or find one or something. <laughs> everything. We've got Fluffy. 
We got fuzzy chickens. We got fluffy chickens. Yeah. We're gonna have to have a chicken named Fluffy too. I ha you have no idea how bad I just wanted. Never mind. We're gonna talk about that later on, on the channel. Watch for some new videos coming soon because the next few. That that this year on the Roddy channel is gonna be insane. You're not gonna want to miss this. Don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you guys again for horses. watching. Horses. Somebody said horses. Kay, this horses has been my so. thing forever. I've been trying. I've been wanting a horse my whole life, but I've been putting that off till later. <laughs> Here's the thing, we need to wait until we have a daughter, because... No, I deserve one. Well, yeah, you can have one too, but then... A little miniature pony. <laughs> this is like, this is like, uh... Yeah, no, I know. It's like fantasy, fantasy. I want to be able to take my girls on their high horse and walk them around the neighborhood. <laughs> on a horse? <laughs> yes! Yes, I can just walk the horses... Both the girls, little, <laughs> little, little Colin looking Sam and a little, or, and Sam on the other one. And I'm just going to walk you guys around the neighborhood and the horses are going to behave and they're going to be nice. And it's just, when we have kids, they're going to have the most rad life. If you have <laughs> Colin, seen. you crack me up, right? If you already <laughs> haven't seen, we already give these guys the life. So, yep, pretty much. Look at Kenai's tail. Oh, one it was weird. stuck on the... One big Roddy family. Yes. Anyway, again, thank you guys for watching. We're going to get some uh, grub cooked up while we still have a little bit I'm of light. Give you that. And we will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Later.